Welcome back. It's Mike C from HLM BBQ. Get your swimsuit on and get ready to smoke some ribs. Let's mix the seasoning by grabbing a quarter cup of razzle dazzle and mixing that with a pinch of clove. We're going for an island vacation vibe right now. Let's make the easiest marinade in the world. Grab two to three cloves and roughly grind them with a mortar and pestle. Add that to a bowl and mix in half a cup or more of dark rum. Let them get to know each other while you prep your ribs. We're using St. Louis style pork ribs today. This rack is four pounds at 2.97 a pound, costing a total of $12.15, that's a deal. Let's remove the membrane that's blocking all the flavor from getting in. Carefully slide your knife under the membrane and pry it up and grab a few paper towels, which will help you grip the membrane. Try to rip it off in one piece. Not only is it easier if you do it that way, but you'll feel cool doing it. Now trim up any weird pieces on the ribs. Make sure you feel for bones on both sides of the ribs. They run these through a bandsaw to cut them and sometimes you might find a little chunk. No big deal, just remove it. Look for any dangling pieces and pare down extra unnecessary fat. You want the marinade to penetrate this meat. Why waste flavor on pieces that we can't eat? This will ensure every bite is the perfect bite. Now grab a toothpick and puncture small holes between all the ribs. This is going to help the flavor penetrate even further. Place the ribs meat side down in a non-reactive dish and cover with the rum clove mixture. The rum will add a rich sweet vanilla and coffee flavor to the ribs while the cloves will add a warm spice and boost the aroma. Cover in saran wrap and place in the fridge for one to four hours. Now let's make some kebabs. Grab a variety of in-season fresh vegetables and mushrooms. If you like them, cube whatever the vegetable is into bite-sized chunks. Slide it onto a bamboo stick, coat in vegetable oil or grapeseed oil, and season with salt and pepper or your favorite seasoning. You could also marinate the vegetables. We're gonna keep it simple and just use our back rub all-purpose seasoning. Wrap it in foil and put it into the fridge until you're almost done cooking the ribs later on today. Now we're smoking on a propane grill. You have to have smoke and you can do that by making a smoker box. Grab foil or a grease catch or a foil ball and fill it with pellets or wood chips. Cover that in foil and poke some holes and you've got yourself a homemade smoker box. Four hours later, it's time to season the ribs. Rinse them off and remove any extra clove chunks and pat dry. Grab mustard as a binder or you can use olive oil if you're scared of mustard though you won't taste it. Slather it on and season with the mixture that we made earlier. Flip it over and season the meat side of the mixture. It's important to do it in this order because we're smoking the ribs bone side down to protect the meat. I'm using a three burner Weber Genesis grill. I turn on the far left burner to high and ignite it. Add any flavor pellets to your smoker box and cover in foil. Place this over the burner that is on and shut the lid. Check in about 15 minutes, you should see smoke coming out of the grill. Now I will say this, don't be afraid if you don't have a smoker. Your propane grill will work just fine. Follow these instructions and you will have ribs that look like they came off a barrel smoker. Now, if you take a look, we've let the seasoning penetrate and get tacky on top of the meat. That's going to allow more smoke to attach itself to the outside of the rib. And if you get lucky, you might even see a little smoke ring by the time we're done with this. You're gonna check it every hour or so. This is one hour in, take a look at the color. Now this is two hours in. If I didn't know, it would look like these were pulled off of a barrel smoker or even the Traeger. Now it's time to wrap them in two layers of foil so that they can tenderize. Grab two tablespoons of butter and place on the foil. Then lay the ribs carefully, meat side down on top of the butter. Get a can of pineapple juice and pour it over the bones and the sides of the ribs. It's like a pineapple spa for your ribs to relax in. Wrap tight so they stay cozy and warm and continue to cook for another hour. The goal is to get the ribs to braise within this pineapple juice so that they become ultra tender when we go to finish them. Now about 45 minutes later, throw the kebabs on the grill. We want to get a nice char on them and in about 15 minutes we're going to check the ribs. Now grab a meat thermometer and you can poke directly through the foil between the bones of the ribs until they're probe tender, kind of like sliding it into a room temperature stick of butter. The internal temp should be between 203 to 206 degrees. My goal here is to get the meat to fall off the bone. Check these ribs out. We're not done yet. It's time to caramelize the ribs. Place the meat side down where you were just grilling the kebabs. Not only will this caramelize the rib, but will impart some of those charred vegetable flavors onto the meat. Just look at these ribs. The color is perfect. It looks like it just came off a professional smoker and they are falling off the bone. 
At this point, they've marinated in that crazy rum and clove mixture. They've been seasoned with the wild flavors of razzle dazzle and ground clove. They've been kissed with smoke, bathed in pineapple juice from the gods, and caramelized on the direct heat side of the grill. Look at the color. There's a smoke ring. There's even a little bark on here. What the hell is going on? It looks like I pulled these off of the barrel 10 minutes ago, but it was all done on a propane grill. Seriously, I've gotten some of the best feedback on these ribs of all the ribs that I've cooked, and I feel that they're up there as a top five rib that I've ever made. Liz was beside herself. The flavor is so ridiculously good. I can't stress this enough. You have to try it. You know what would go great with this rib? A nice summer punch beverage. Check out the video above to learn how to make one of the best punches we've ever had. Memorial Day is a day dedicated to those who have died in American wars. Thank you to those that serve and have fought for our country and our freedom so we can enjoy the simple things like a cold cocktail, juicy ribs, and freedom to do pretty much anything we want. We hope everybody gets a chance to be with friends and family and to share a good meal together this weekend. Thanks for showing up. If you want to support us, please like and subscribe. Also check out our website if you'd like to order any of the seasonings that you saw today. Thank you so much for stopping by and we'll see you in two weeks.